everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Sophia and today I thought I'd show you my top five accessory foot, well feet basically, um, for your machine. I am going to show you Janome feet um, purely because I use Janome machines and I have Janome machines at home. Um, but I, all brands have a variation of these feet that I'm going to show you. Um, but I just thought it would be really good to share my favourite accessories that you can buy individually. Some you might already have and some I would recommend investing in because uh, they're just brilliant. Okay, so the first foot I'm going to talk about is the classic zipper foot. Um, obviously a lot of machines will already come with the zipper foot, but if you have bought a basic manual model or maybe you've bought a second hand machine um, and some of the parts are missing, a zipper foot will really, really help you. Um, I have had students in the past come in with um, older machines like that have been passed down to them or um, second hand machines like I said, um, and they have missed, had this missing. Um, and it does make a massive difference to how neat you can get zips. Um, there is a concealed zipper foot, which um, if you're doing a lot of concealed zips, they, they are amazing. But I just think the classic zipper foot, you can obviously do a lot with it, even concealed zips. Um, so if you haven't got a zipper foot in your accessories, then I would definitely recommend investing in one because they are a godsend. The next one, I am a little bit biased, but it is the darning foot or the free motion embroidery foot. Um, I recommend the spring loaded ones and the ones with a clear open toed end to them. There are lots of different variations and I will say that even though I've said that, some brands do, don't have the clear open toed version. You might have a metal closed toe version. Um, it still works just as well, but I find if you're doing free motion and you want to get into free motion embroidery, like my favorite pastime, um, I, I do recommend this version of it because the vision is better, you have more space to see what you're doing, and when you're going in multi-directions, um, I just find this one a little bit easier, especially if you're starting out. Um, and try and get a spring-loaded one um, rather than a fixed one, um, just because I find that they don't scratch up your machine as much. Um, you can buy universal ones for different machines, but if you do that, just make sure you try and get a spring-loaded one rather than the fixed one. Um, but like I said, some models don't have the variations of this foot. Um, but if you have a Janome machine, then I definitely recommend this one. Number three, these aren't in any order, by the way. I'm just of like favorites. They're all just equally as good. Um, the third foot that I want to show you is the quarter inch foot. Now, uh, if you're a quilter, you probably already have one of these. Um, but I just find them so, so useful. Um, especially if you need a six millimetre seam allowance or quarter of an inch seam allowance. All it is is a normal foot, just like your standard sewing foot. Um, but it's got this sort of like edge to it on one side. Um, that sort of sticks out and it's the exactly a six millimeter or quarter inch seam allowance from the center of your needle So if your needles right in the center, you've got that center placement This paddle lines up with six millimeter or quarter of an inch So all you need to do is put your fabric against this black paddle and it does quarter inch seam allowances Everywhere you sew. So obviously you can't do a zigzag stitch with this um, mainly because of the shape of the foot so if you were thinking of doing it for baby clothes or things that require six millimeter seam allowance, um, don't do it with this because well, it won't work and you'll snap your needle. But any straight stitching, like quilting, this is amazing and I love it. I find it very, very helpful. The next one is also a quilting foot. It's the even feed foot. Um, it's quite a hefty accessory and a lot of people sort of go, Ugh. Oh, how expensive they are but honestly once you've got one they are brilliant in fact my mum actually uses this for basically the majority of her sewing she hardly ever takes it off um, if you're doing a lot of stretch garments brilliant for that equally if you are doing a lot of quilting um, and you're going through quite thick layers of like wadding and your patchwork it's 
brilliant for that. That's what it's sort of made for. But it's also fantastic for jersey, any slippery fabrics that you're finding it hard to like control through the machine or they're slipping and sliding a bit. It's basically got extra feeders on the top that grab the fabric. So as it's pulling it underneath, it's also pulling it through the top. So it's evenly feeding it through the machine, hence even feed foot. Um, but they are very, very useful. And when I've had students sewing sweatshirting or thick jersey items, um, it's been brilliant for that. And so I think that they are amazing. Um, again, there are different variations for different models of machines. So please do a little bit of research before you just buy one. Um, be careful of universal ones. Um, just check the make and the model. I know on Amazon they're selling a lot of universal feet, but I've seen the quality of some of them and they are really bad and they have scratched up a few people's machines. So just do your research and look into which one is best for your machine. But the even feed foot or walking foot, they're sometimes called, um, brilliant, brilliant accessory. The last feet I want to talk about are rolled hem feet. Now I actually, I've, I've known about the rolled hem feet for ages and a lot of my customers have bought them from me, um, but I've, I never actually use them that often. Um, until I was doing some work for someone where I was making lots of like slippery satin silky items and oh my goodness the hemming was just a nightmare and we wanted like a really thin rolled hem um, and obviously I was trying to do it by hand and it was just taking ages and then I just thought oh I'm just gonna try the rolled hem feet and see if they work and I don't know why I waited this long to use them because they're just fantastic. Um, so with, if you buy a Janome variation, um, you can get a twin pack of a six and a four millimeter hem. Um, you can get other sizes as well. I think they go down to like really narrow as well. For some reason, I think there's a two millimeter hem, which is, you know, crazy. Um, but oh my goodness, these are wonderful for your machine. So I definitely recommend them. They just make any silky or slippery fabrics hem hemming them is a nightmare normally this makes it so much easier it does take a bit of practice to get it right and i did struggle at the beginning um but once you've got the hang of it it's blissful and just really really helpful just to save you a lot of time if you're doing anything silky or like um any netting or if you're doing a lot of tulle like over the top and you just want to have a finished edge or maybe you're wanting like a more rigid edge to make it wave or something at the bottom of the dress um and you want that weight of a hem then i definitely recommend these because they are brilliant i'm just watching a big wasp fly around the studio up here today and he keeps dive bombing and a bit scared. Um, I'll try and get my on in a minute. <laughs> um, I hope you found this video useful. Um, if you have any of the ex those accessories or maybe you have some, one of these accessories and you found another way to use them or something really, really useful that you've used it for that you just, you're converted now, um, then let me know, comment down below and share it with everyone else because I think sometimes you use something and you're like, oh my God, it works for this so well. Um, so like, let's share that information and pass it on so that, you know, when we have time to sew, our lives are a little bit easier. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you haven't subscribed already, then please do because it really helps me out. Um, like I said, comment below with any questions or any advice for other sewers. And I will see you again soon for another video. Happy handmade, everyone.